Hello. In this video you will learn how to use ground public transport in Moscow. Buses, trolleybuses, and trams. If you plan to come to Moscow, you need to watch this video. The rules of travel in buses of Moscow City may be very different from the rules of travel in buses of your country. There are several ways to buy a ticket for ground public transport in Moscow. In special ticket kiosks, ticket vending machines, at stations of the Moscow Metro, and at the bus or tram driver. There are many types of tickets. For 1, 2, 60 trips. For 1 day, for 3 days, for 30, 90, or 365 days. And other types of tickets. You can also buy a Troika transport card, which can be used for almost all types of tickets, or simply deposit money into the card account and pay from it to travel in ground transport and the metro. At the bus driver you can buy a ticket for just one trip. The ticket vending machines look like this. The interface of the machine supports English. Here you can choose the type of ticket you need. For example, a ticket for one or two trips. Choose one trip and see how much money you need to insert. Choose a payment method. Here you can pay by a bank card. And here you can pay in cash. After you made the payment, you need to wait a bit. After that, take your ticket and change. Here is your ticket, you can go to bus. The fare of trip does not depend on the distance. The price of travel in ground public transport in Moscow at current rates, see the description of the video. We will try to update this information in a timely manner. Passengers can enter Moscow's ground public transport through all doors. Before entering it is necessary to give the opportunity to get off the bus to other passengers. At the entrance you must valid the ticket to the validator. This must be done on every trip. One ticket or Troika transport card is for one passenger only. You must save the ticket until the end of the trip. Often there are ticket checks by tickets inspectors. Be careful. Many tickets inspectors don't work honestly, often exceed their authority and violate various laws. For example, they can take away your ticket, declare no valid on it, and start demanding your passport for a fine. They may unlawfully try to hold you by force inside the bus. Most often, they abuse their position in relation to lonely weak passengers. Like rats, they can despicably hide behind the bus stop and run into the bus at the last moment. They can order the driver not to open the door making him an accomplice of their crime. And many other violations are often committed by ticket inspectors of ground public transport in Moscow. But in reality, Moscow's public transport tickets inspectors don't have authority to use force. They don't have the right to hold you in the bus or force you out of it. These are just tickets inspectors, not police officers. Don't be afraid of them. For example, if you have lost a ticket, or in case of any other problem, just get off the bus, the tickets inspectors are not allowed to keep you in it by force. Always help each other if you see tickets inspectors trying to use force against another passenger. <laughs>
Девушка, выходите, все. Уходите как можно дальше от них, все. Они вас удерживать не имеют права. Passengers are not required to communicate their personal data to tickets inspectors. Passengers are not required to give them a passport, even if there are problems with the ticket. What for let them the right out of fine to you, if you can just get off the bus. But, as we have said before, tickets inspectors often violate laws. This means that if you try to get off the bus without a fine, they will certainly try to hold you by force. But, this is not a reason to be afraid of them and give away your passport. If you want, you have the right to get off the bus at the nearest bus stop. The laws of the Russian Federation don't allow the use of force by lower-level officials, such as tickets inspectors. There is no single timetable for all routes of ground public transport in Moscow. But most of them work from about 5 in the morning until 24 at night. There are several special night routes that only operate at night. If you are in a hurry, then hoping for ground public transport in Moscow is stupid. On some routes, the traffic interval is acceptable. But there are few such routes, and they are almost 100% duplicated by the Moscow Metro, which is still faster. And on most routes, the schedule is disgusting no more than two three buses per hour this is a big disadvantage of ground public transport in moscow especially considering the fact that the fare in it is the same as in the metro